Well, hello there. Glad you could join me today. This time, we'll take a quick look at different ways of combining a piece of information with another, so the related documents are bundled together and are easier to find. There are multiple ways to group information in M-Files, and in this video, I'll try my best to explain when to use which. You may have heard me talk about views before. Views are powered by metadata. And that means M-Files will group the objects based on what's described on their metadata card. To create a view, you just identify what's in common on the metadata cards of all the objects you want to be grouping together. Then, you use this piece of metadata as a filter, since views are basically saved searches based on metadata. This means different people can find the same piece of information in different views without any copies flying around. If there is no shared metadata between the items you want to bundle, then you can use the document collection. You can think of it as a physical binder, where you gather different kinds of documents together. Here's an example. You are about to participate in a meeting where you are going to be presenting a customer case. Obviously, you prepare a presentation, but you might have some other documents as background information to be shared with the participants afterwards. If I were you, I'd bundle these in a document collection and send one link to all your colleagues instead of a list of 10 links. Whereas you can think of document collection as a binder, multi-file document is more like stapling files together that make sense to group together. For example, when you have a draft of a contract as a Word file, and then you sign it, which then creates a PDF version of the contract. Those two files can always be found together, and that's why it makes sense to create a multi-file document. Relationships are the fourth way of bundling information in M-Files. Using relationships is convenient when you want to indicate that this piece of information relates to another piece. For example, if you have a project plan and that project plan references other documents, by creating a relationship between those documents, it's easy to navigate between these pieces of information within M-Files. That was quite a ride, wasn't it? Now you know all these amazing ways M-Files manages documents for you. So why not go and try them out? And as always, check another video and I will be there guiding you through the amazing world of M-Files.